Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante is brought to you by Tobacco Free Florida. Welcome back to Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante. Time now for our Orlando Sentinel Magic Calendar. As a friendly reminder, you can listen to every Magic game on AM 580 WDBO and the Orlando Magic Radio Network. The Magic schedule heats up after the NBA All-Star break with eight big games to close out the month of February, including our next Guys Night Out contest when the Charlotte Bobcats come to town on Tuesday, February 17th. For 50 bucks, you get two tickets, two hot dogs, and two beverages, plus access to a pre-game Bud Light beer garden and a post-game autograph session with the Magic Dancers that you will not want to miss. For tickets, call 1-800-4-NBA-TIX or order online at orlandomagic.com. Now back to Dante and Galante. And welcome back to the final segment of Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante. Normally Kevin Holden's here, but we got Tony Petit to stick around, and, and Kevin is actually going to be out in Phoenix covering the All-Star festivities, so that'll be good to catch up with Kevin. He'll have a report when he comes back with all the, all the festivities from there. But, uh, Tony, a very nice gesture at halftime of the, of the Magic Nuggets game on February 11th. The OMYF made a check presentation, and it, really an integral part of what this organization does, giving back to the community, isn't it? Definitely. Um... You know, the DeVosses and uh, the whole organization itself, along with the teammates, we love being a part of giving back to the community. And it's just something that, you know, especially for the kids and, and people who work so hard and deserve a break here and there, uh, we're all for it. And, and Kevin was here to cover right. that uh, for us on February 11th, so check it out. On February 11th, when the Magic faced the Denver Nuggets, the Orlando Magic Youth Fund hosted a very special night. 26 organizations from the nine counties in the Central Florida area received grants to help them continue their positive influence on those in need. The evening kicked off with a dinner and reception. It's a reception to recognize and celebrate those agencies that we have given an OMIF grant to. There are 26 of them. We've given away three quarters of a million dollars tonight. And these agencies help our community in the way of education, health and wellness, and the arts. The grant recipients were honored during halftime of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the Orlando Magic Youth Fund welcomes the 2008 grant recipients. The OMYF is committed to helping every child in Central Florida realize their full potential, especially those most at risk by supporting programs and partnerships that empower families and change lives. It was a night the recipients will always remember. We appreciate so much the magic treating the nonprofit family and the agencies that are out there helping children in a first class way. So it's always a very special experience. The team and the uh, DeVos family put on uh, such a wonderful, you know, a showing of care for us. And we appreciate that. I think it's a wonderful opportunity to be able to represent our organization, Valencia Community College, and to be honored by the magic in supporting our community initiatives. Even during these economic times, the OMYF and Orlando Magic realize the importance of giving back. We want to be the best champions on and off the court, and we really understand how important it is to give back, that no one is successful in this community unless everyone is. Just a class move and a, and a nice gesture by the Orlando Magic Youth Fund. Yeah, more than three quarters of a million dollars was given away that night, and just a, a big hats off to everybody associated with the OMYF. When Kevin Holden comes back from Phoenix, we're going to see the footage, we're going to hear the stories, but I want to hear from you your favorite memory of, of, of any All-Star weekend that you've watched or been a part of. Uh... Besides Dwight turning into Superman, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I guess one of the biggest things with All-Star is, is the dunk contest. And when Vince Carter put his hand in the rim, that was something not even remotely close to being seen. So, right. I mean, I think it was – that was kind of – I'm still speechless just thinking right. about it now. I mean, that was one of the dunks that hasn't been duplicated or then and it hasn't been – probably will never be right. done again, so – yeah, it was, it was pretty sick. I'd like to see those guys get back into it. The LeBrons, the yeah. Kobe's, Dwight and Vince. Just one more time. Just go at it. Uh, you have to up to Annie a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> I thought I, that would be the answer I to think that. So. Yeah. All right, Tony, great job. Thanks for coming by. We do appreciate it. we got to do this again here. Thanks for having me. How All about right. 11 more weeks? <laughs> we'll wait then about we'll have 11 you back weeks. In. Yeah, it was 15 guys on the team. That's right. right. Yeah, 15 more We'll cycle more weeks. through each guy two more times, and then yeah. we'll have you back. Still got to get Stephen Hunter in here, and we got to get Rodney Powell. So we got a couple <laughs> more before. <laughs> hey, well, I just look at it like, you know, you're saving the best for last. <laughs> That's right, that? absolutely. All right, Tony, thanks. Thanks for checking out Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante. Again, go to magicovertime.com. Win those Magic Pistons tickets on February 27th 
and text 57375, keyword overtime. See you next week. Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante is brought to you by Tobacco Free Florida.